Welcome to Banks Unboxing, where every day is Christmas. I'm Gail Banks. We've got a problem in dyno cell number one with our fuel supply from our outside fuel shed into the dyno and having sufficient lift pump pressure at the, those twin CP 3.3 Bosch pumps. Now there's issues with the pumps as well, but I wanna get this lift pump pressure thing resolved. I'm coming up to date in every respect so that we can go to say 3,000 or so horsepower on diesel in that cell. I called my buddies at Holly and I said, I wanna run gasoline in that cell and I wanna run diesel in that cell. I need primary filtration, I need pump, I need return regulators, I need secondary filtration, etc. In the primary filtration, I'm also going to do some water separating and other things. So that's going to be dieselish stuff. Then we get to Holly. And from there on, we're Holly all the way to those Bosch pumps. So I'm kind of excited. I want to see what they sent. And we've got it out of the box. And basically, the first thing I want to unbox here is their 12-890 pump. This is a single pump. And the thing, oh man, I can extend my warranty for free. <laughs> Aha, I like that. Oh, you can extend it up to a full, full year. There you go. Warranty claim information tag. Well, I'm not doing that yet. I haven't even run them. Uh, warranty information, and here's the nitty-gritty uh, performance on the pump and all the installation instructions. It's good for 100 gallons per hour. Boy, have a look at this. <laughs> Billet, anodized, beautiful mounting foot. Boy, that's substantial. No sheet metal or no clamp or other horse manure. The thing I like about these pumps, it, is they're in line. You're not coming into the pump and going out of the pump. It looks really sweet in the dyno cell and would look really sweet in the vehicle. This single pump has a AN O-ring dash eight fitting in and out. And uh, what I like also, even though you've got primary filtration before the pump, it's got an internal screen as well to catch anything you might have missed. These pumps, and there's the flow direction, are set up to run at a constant speed. They're gerotor pumps, and I love gerotor pumps. They're technical, they're OEM quality, and these things have a life expectancy uh, in a vehicle of well over 100,000 miles, or 3,000 hours plus. So that pump at 15 pounds of pressure will give me 90 gallons per hour. On diesel, that will support about 1,500 horsepower uh, with a brake spec fuel consumption of 4 point, uh, pardon me, 0.42 pounds per horsepower hour. So you use 0.42 pounds to make a horsepower for an hour. That's that pump. Now I want to move up scale here a little bit. Okay, this baby, 12, 1800. This is a 200 gallon per hour pump. And I think maybe about 210 free flow. Uh, 200 gallons per hour is at about eight pounds of output pressure as I recall. And another free warranty extension. Nice in-depth instruction. Now. Let me get the pump out first before I get into this. You gotta have a look at this. All right, this thing is dash 10 in and out. So we're getting serious. And I know one thing, these pumps have been tested because there's test fluid in there. That's kind of cool. So we've got dash 10 in, dash 10 out. That's serious hose size. And we've got four leads. Well, what's this all about? This pump, you can run on, there's two, there's two gerotor systems, two pump motors, 
one inlet, one outlet. You can run on one, and then when you need it, like going to higher boost or adding nitrous or whatever you're doing that requires a lot more fuel, in comes the second one. You have a relay controlling the first one and another relay controlling the second one. The first one comes on at key on, and the second one comes on anywhere you want to set it. It could be pressure. In my case, it would be density, air, manifold air density controlled for the second pump with an overlay of, if you have it, math control. This is the killer app as far as I'm concerned. Look how compact that thing is. Pretty low noise level since it's an OE type assembly inside. And the thing about these pumps that I was concerned with is they run constantly. If you have a pump that runs constantly, you need a regulator that can return virtually the fuel, the full flow of the pump when the engine's not using it. I had asked for the smaller pump. I discovered that we could run them individually with the bigger pump. And as a result, I really, really don't need the smaller pump unless 1,500 horsepower on the diesel is about all I want. So if this was a, a street diesel with realistic horsepower output up to, say, 1,400, 1,500, it would be the single pump. For serious use, I'm going beyond that. Now, let's talk about the regulator. They recommend for my 15 PSI requirement, which is that lift pump pressure, this regulator, which has a range of like four and a half to nine PSI. I think I'm gonna have to, oh boy. Ha, look at this. That's, look at the two of these guys together. That's pretty sweet looking, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. <laughs> so, this is a two-port regulator, and these would normally be used with carburation at that pressure level that it puts out. What I'm thinking about doing is using this thing, which has 10 in, 10 out, and 10 return lines. So we've got some serious return capability on this. You can change the pressure with this lead screw and jam nut, and... We've got this dash four capability here for a boost reference line. So this will adjust the fuel pressure up one to one with boost pressure. The last thing is really fine filtration. Primary filtration, about 100 micron is what Holly recommends. Uh, if you're going to EFI, this, your secondary or after the system filtration would be around 10 micron and that's reasonably good for diesel injectors as well uh, but what we've got here holly makes this inline setup let's open this baby up boy there's some serious plastic <laughs> and so this thing's half pipe in and out has a paper filter inside that goes down to seven microns. It's a billet. The wall thickness is 150 thousandths wall aluminum tube. So it could take a lot of pressure and, and not succumb, but in this case, we'll be at 15. When we go to cell two, and we'll be using a very similar setup in cell two, I've got a requirement in there up to about 90 or 100 PSI. It's denso injection. And also, if you're running really serious, very high boost gasoline, you're gonna approach those numbers uh, to run your EFI system over boost. In other words, you want a given delta P nozzle uh, or injector to prevail all the way through the boost range uh, of the engine. So here we've got seven micron. This thing will flow 750 gallons an hour. Uh, that's, a, that's enough to support it, the power requirements of your hometown. And I think what we've got here 
is the ability to make me very happy and get the fuel requirement done for a while in both of these cells. Basically, 3,050 horsepower worth of diesel right there. Uh, as far as gasoline is concerned, similar numbers. At 90 PSI, this guy is good for about 116 gallons per hour. So we've got good upper level flow capability as well. I think it's time for us to take this stuff and get it into cell number one. If you want to see how it all works, all you need to do is subscribe.